In this video, we'll be covering what user flows are and how you can use them to build your website or application. Hey, what's up? I'm Mark Tagliabellini, and I'm all about achieving financial independence through real estate investing and online business. So if you're new to the channel and you're looking to achieve financial freedom for yourself, be sure to hit the like subscribe button down below. It really does help me out and I'll keep cranking out these videos. So if you're looking to build a website or an application, you need a plan. You need a way for the user to get from point A to point B. And that's going to be a number of screens, a number of interactions, and you have to map all that out ahead of time so you can build your application or your website in a way that makes sense to the user. User flows are the best way to start when you're building out your website or your application. So that's where you put the pen to paper and you start mapping out your whole, the whole experience. And then from there, you, know, you can go a step higher in fidelity and move to wire flows. And that's gonna be kind of like a box for logo, boxes for images, some you know, lines for text. You know, it's a really basic kind of layout to see where everything is. And then from there, you can go to screen flows, which is a higher fidelity flow of your website. So you kind of just go in sequence and, and move things into higher fidelity as you go and then test along the way to make sure things are working well for your customers. So to get you started, I wanna show you a user flow and how you can create it for yourself and map out your own websites and applications. So look at the screen below here. So here we have Figma and this is a great program to use for user flows or wireframes or screen flows, whatever you need to do, this program will handle it, no problem. So you can download this program for free. They have a desktop app or you can use it in the browser as well. So a great way to get started with this is go up to this tab up here and you have your, your name and there's also kind of a community tab. And right now we're in the community tab. So I'll just type in user flows here. And you have all these projects in here that you can open up. So these are things that people have created in the community. So you can open these up and you can hit duplicate and it'll open it up in a new tab and you can actually make edits and you know, make your own user flow uh, with these kits. So this is a great way to get started if you haven't done this much before. So I opened up a couple of them here that I want to go over. And I just want to come over the basics here. So you have all these different shapes. So you see circles, you see um, rectangles, you know, this is like a rhombus shape, uh, a really rounded rectangle, and everything from, from there. So basically you'll see a lot of the times you'll start and end with a circle. So you'll see that here. And this isn't always the case, but in this case um, it is true. And then here they have screens as rectangles and they've also color coded them so you can see them at a glance really easily and know that it's a page or some kind of a screen. And then this uh, like rhombus shape here, this is a decision. And this is pretty much industry standard. That's some kind of a decision point. And here we have a yes or no. And from there, the arrows lead to uh, the next step in that interaction. So there's a couple interactions here and then a new page. And then yes, there's one interaction and a new page and then another decision, which um, you know, goes from you know, end, end of that flow or to another interaction and then ends there. So this is kind of the, the basics here and you wanna keep it simple because this isn't really about design. This is about the, the content and the flow of how things work in your website or application. So don't think about the design too much, just stay consistent. If you know, whatever shapes you're using, whatever colors you're using, uh, make sure you just stay consistent. So I wanna show one that's actually a little bit more fleshed out here, and this is a ride share program here. So we'll kind of get started here. So, you know, we kind of have this one, two, three, four step process here. So one is the request. In here, this is where the passenger uh, types in, you know, destination, the car type, and then hits confirm. And that request is sent to the uh, driver here. And that is kind of conveyed by this dotted arrow here, re requests. And so you can see that, you know, the, the, sh the um, transfer of information is shown through dotted lines here. And this is where they're staying consistent. So um, this is where you can use this kind of um, idea here. So like if you're trying to convey something like the transfer of information or the passage of time, or, you know, maybe it's a different, uh, instead of one option as far as a decision, they go a different direction. You can use that as a dotted line. So there's a lot of different ways you can kind of represent different things, but just be consistent. So here they're uh, sending a request, the driver gets it. And at that point they can either accept the ride or decline. If they decline, it stops there. If they accept it, uh, it sends that information that's been accepted to the passenger. And from there they can cancel the ride or they can wait. And if they wait, um, Basically, the driver will drive to the passenger and then he will hit to start the ride. And at that point, the ride will, will continue from there and they will uh, drive to the destination. 
and you know, once they get there, they can finish the ride, or if they have to cancel early or something, they can do that as well. And, from, and then from there, once it's finished, it sends information to the passenger saying the ride is finished, and then they can rate the driver, you know, tip the driver, um, and then also the driver can um, also rate the passenger at that point. So this is a great example of how you know, the user flow works. So there's no, there's no design here, there's no website or application. This is just the basic information, flow of information, the interactions that the, the person is going through to achieve a desired result. You're really going from point A to point B, and you're really mapping out how you get there. Now, like I said earlier, once you have your user flows built out, you can move up a step in fidelity and go to wireframes and build out like kind of what it looks like in general. And then you can test it with your users at that point. You can build like a little basic prototype and then test it with your user and make sure they don't get confused or stuck or anything like that. And then make some changes that are necessary. And then once everything looks good, then you can move to the next step, which is a screen flow. And then really have like kind of high fidelity, you know, prototype built and have your users use that and make sure everything works correctly. And then at that point you can move on to engineering and build the thing out and then release your website or application or whatever it may be. So user flows are the best place to start to get, to get things rolling and then you just kind of go from there. So if you like this content, be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.